It is. Time right now for a fresh go. So Tony Tantillo, it's Tony's table today, making something really yummy. We're talking about cauliflower. We've already been pinching yeah, a yeah, little bit because it's she so knows good. The aroma. I know. I don't know if it's good or bad, but you came over and said the well, aroma of cauliflower. Well, it has a distinct smell, right? It does have it, but the flavor. But it tastes so good. And cauliflower is one of those vegetables when you cook with that, if you overcook it, it gets too mushy. Mm -hmm. And if you don't cook a little bit, the texture just really isn't there. But if you do it right and take your time, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Slow cook. Slow cook. And what we did, we just sauteed it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, add a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onions, sauteed it very, a very medium heat mm -hmm. or even a low heat took our time then we added some pasta water the pasta the tomatoes and then we're just gonna let this cook just for a little while it's just about done so what you're gonna do before we finish this off I'm gonna do a tip on cauliflower okay okay perfect okay tell us about the cauliflower now cauliflower is great I love it right now it's important mm -hmm. right, right now coming in some are imported some are grown domestically right here but you got to look at it very careful when you buy it make sure it's white all the way around very very important check the bottom where it's been cut if it's all brown here and the leaves are all cracking, that means it's stored around for too long. Now, this time of year, most of the cauliflower you're going to buy is going to be wrapped. It's got the wrap around right. it. And that's because it holds it up a little bit better. It's like mm -hmm. retail and it keeps it together. During the spring, late, late spring, and in the summertime, the real local grown ones, you, it's called naked cauliflower. It means you, they don't, they're not dressed. Naked, naked flower. flower. It doesn't have the wrap around it. If it does have wrap around when you buy it, Take it off before you put it in the refrigerator. Take a little peek, huh? Take, because it starts to heat yeah. up. So just take it off, okay. put it in the refrigerator. And that's it. And cauliflower is a superfood. It's loaded with nutritional value. So what I got right here, everything's just about ready to go. What you're going to do is add a little bit of garlic-infused oil. Okay. Just a little bit. And I tell you why. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of pasta water. Okay, and you've got, uh, you used elbow pasta. Elbow oh, pasta on okay. this one. Because this pasta, I want to eat with a spoon. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one of those spoon pastas. They're fine. Now I'd like you to add salt and pepper. Okay. Now at the very end, what yeah. we're going to do is we're going to add breadcrumbs. Okay. In Sicily, we call it modiga. Mm -hmm. Now breadcrumbs, every household where I grew up in, had three drawers of bread. The fresh, the day old, and then the three, four day old, which you made your breadcrumbs with. Don't throw it away. Nothing went away. So I'm going to plate this right here. Okay. And you're going to put the breadcrumbs right on top. Okay, so and again, it gives we've got it a wonderful texture. Just toasted bread cauliflower, crumbs. pasta, tomatoes, tomatoes parsley, fresh parsley, salt and pepper. Oh, no, no, be, be generous. A with lot. It. Be oh. generous with it. That's it, because it's going to do. It's going to soak in all the moisture. Oh, and add a little bit of texture, a little crunch and a little to it. You huh? smell it. You smell the bread crumbs. Oh, the bread crumbs. So good. Yeah, and that's it. That's oh, it's yum. going to taste delicious. And look how healthy it is. We forgot one thing. Yeah, what's that? A fork. I, that's the second time I did that. I'm sorry. I'll find one. Okay. All right. You can see Tony Tantillo's Fresh Grocer reports every weekday right here. KCAL 9 News at noon.